Welcome to the MBS Show, episode number 249. I am your host, Norman Sanzo. Joining me today is Torterra. Darn it, Scotty. I told you to beam me up, not beam me here on the MBS Show. Um, I think Scotty can't hear you for reasons. Eh, it doesn't matter. I like being on the MBS Show anyways. <laughs> uh, how are you doing, man? I'm doing pretty good. My, everything's going pretty good, actually. I got another job. I started on Monday. Can't record lately because of my brother's dog slash puppies. Please. But other than that, I'm doing pretty good. Puppies! Puppies are always fun. <laughs> oh yeah, they're cute but ruthless. Oh yeah, that's, all, that's also true. They're cute and ruthless. But how about you? How are you doing? Other than that, I'm, I'm still hanging in there, but I'm doing good. <laughs> like, the weather's not helping those, you know, it's freezing over here. How bad is it anyway? Well, it's, it's, it's like, it's not snowing. But the weather has been in the negatives, and it's been pretty cold here. But, you know, since me and Ty are both from Canada, we're used to it. <laughs> yeah, Ty has been used to the cold weather, so that's always a positive. Well, he's a deer. What do you expect? Oh, true that. And you're a Pokemon. Pony slash Pokemon. Yeah, but I'm weak to ice. Really? Yeah, ice is my weakness. Oh, no. Well, good luck, man. <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, but anywho, talking about the lux. Guess what happened round, well, last week? What happened? Well, there was this thing called the Royal Rumble? You know, where, uh, I think 31 men go into the ring and beat each other and throwing them over the top rope with two feet landing on the floor? Oh yeah, the turnbuckle, I believe? Yeah, I think so and i think it's called i i don't know i used to watch wrestling when i was little but now i don't watch wrestling a lot <laughs> why why not i mean like if i'm I'm going through the channel and it's there then i'll be like okay you know i'll, I'll watch a bit of it all right all right uh well, okay um there, there's that one option there but um like i mentioned last week wwe's royal rumble happened and it was not as good as last year's wrestlemania because of reasons and, well, this year's endeavor was pretty cool. And the reason why I'm talking about wrestling here is not because I want to push the wrestling agenda to you all, but, <laughs> uh, EJ was in it. Wait, you mean there is, you mean they put Applejack in wrestling? No, man. The really good wrestler, EJ Styles. Oh, no. Wait, you mean there's gonna be an episode where the main six are in a wrestling match? No, no, no. I don't think WWE is working with Hasbro with that one. Probably they're working on a talent or something for toys, but not with Hasbro. Um. No, they already did the little collab with Scooby Doo. Yeah. <laughs> God. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. yeah, and also Flintstone, if I remember right. <sighs> yeah, and, of, and I don't know if you heard, but you, you know the movie Surf's Up where you got Shia LaBeouf playing as a penguin? Uh huh. Do you know they're making a sequel that involves WWE and they're making like John Cena and Undertaker and other wrestlers into <laughs> penguins too? I saw that, but I thought that was like, sure, really? Yeah, it's a, like, a, a, it's not going into theaters. It's going straight to DVD. What? Really now? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Okay. But anyway, uh, back yeah, on. Yeah, we're getting off topic yeah, here. Back on to the topic here. Um, during one of the sets, uh, where looks like Cena and AJ Styles were fighting on the turnbuckle, uh, you could specifically spot one poster or, you know, one of those signboards that people bring into the show just to, you know, hold it up so people can see. And. <laughs> oh yeah. You, you get to see a picture of Applejack is best pony. <laughs> Well, hey, you know, he's, he's showing the, you know, the brony community. He's like, hey, you know, I'm a brony and I'm proud of it. <laughs> True, but yeah, AJ's best pony, but you know what, it's just too cute. Like, I had to mention here, and it's like too silly. Uh, I know wrestling is silly at the same time too, but oh god, this is just, it's compounding the silliness. I bet a lot of bronies were happy to see that. Oh yeah, they were. They were. Sophista got a lot of emails on this one. Uh, oh my. Uh, but talking about other celebrities and stars, um, you know that Shatner guy, that William Shatner? Oh, of course. Who doesn't know about William Shatner? Well, people who don't watch Star Trek. So, anywho. So, recently, uh, Shatner's been tweeting about, um, I'm a brony and friendship is magic. He's like, hmm, okay. He's not the first celebrity to do so. It's pretty nope. silly. 
But you know, knowing Shatner here, like, uh, uh, it's just fun. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Like fun. And well, somebody tweeted at him asking, "Is like you really, uh, you a real My Little Pony friendship is magic fan?" Uh, no response after that. But you know, once you get the ball rolling, right? People start asking questions. Then, uh, a show writer, Nick Conflown, he mentioned, and I do remember that Nick may not be in season 7, but anywho, uh, he tweeted to William asking, please do a voice on the show. And to that, uh, William Shatner here replied, what makes you think I haven't? So, it's like, yes. Illuminati confirmed. <laughs> so, yeah, I was like, what? What's going, what's, what, what is even going on? And then, somebody did the final tweet, asking if, is it true you might do voice work for MLP season 7? And you know what? <laughs> he replied this, already did. Oh my gosh, they are going to do a collab of MLP and Star Trek. I don't think so. <laughs> but still, this is one of those news where we haven't got any inkling of what's going on in Season 7, and suddenly we get this. And, oh wow, okay, this is epic. It makes me curious though what he's going to voice. Is he going to voice like a macho pony or is he going to be a villain or what kind of, what kind, what character is he even voicing? Yeah. And is it a one-off or is it like John Delancey? And you know, this is going to be one of those cases where, oh, this is interesting because, uh, in MLP's repertoire of, um, star, um, guest stars, they had Lena Hall, they had John Delancey, they had Weird Al. And these are some of the characters or some of the voice actors or celebrities that they got on the show that are considered notable. This is kind of epic and big. Oh yeah, definitely. For William Shatner here, he's one of the other people to be on the show that is also cool. Um, could he be another Lena Hall or Weird Al? Who knows? Or could he be another John Delancey where he comes onto the show not on a regular basis, but... Enough for him to be part of the MLP crew. Who knows? The future awaits for us. Yep, yep, yep. And I, I don't know. I mean, like I mentioned earlier before, there's so much that is unknown about season seven that it's hard for us to speculate. Like, we got no idea what's even going on now. Like, is he going to be a regular? Is he playing uh, this character? It's, like, there's so many things that we can just spitball right now. And you know what? Let's spitball. Like, what would be the perfect situation for Shatner here? What would he play? That's a good question. Cause, cause he's been, he's been in animated films too. And it's, it's usually like he was in Over the Hedge where he played as a possum and it was all about comedy. And then there's sometimes where he'd be serious. So we don't know if his character is going to be very serious or he could, like it could be, oh, maybe it, it could be one of, he's probably voicing one of those characters that, that's like an actor who acts all serious, but in reality he's a coward. Hmm, okay, that's very specific and interesting. We haven't got that kind of character, have we? No, like maybe the Verity or someone, they can go to Manhattan and they want to watch a stage and the musical or something like that. Maybe that's where they meet the pony who William Shatner is voicing. Hmm, probably, probably. I mean, I'm just guessing here. It's all about predictions. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but other than that, like, what else do you think, like, uh, in terms of, okay, that's what you think, but what would your dream character be? Good question. I don't think I have an answer for that. Oh, really? Take your time, man. I mean, I can't, I can't really imagine, like, cause hearing William Shatner being in My Little Pony, <laughs> I can't imagine him being, like, I still don't know what kind of character he'd be voicing. Hmm, uh, true, 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 true. I mean, if I do understand right, uh, William Shatner here does have range on his voice. So, He's not going to be having his same voice in Star Trek. Like, I am Captain Kirk. So he's not going to have that, probably. I don't think so. Like, if he would, if he were to have that, like, yeah, that's cool, but mm, come on. That's true. 
And they're, they're not to mention that he was some, he was a villain in other movies too. So maybe, maybe he's, um, a new villain and then maybe they reform him in another season. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, knowing, uh, <laughs> kn- knowing the show with how they handle their villains. Yeah, uh, it's a one-shot character. Yeah, he's done and gone. Probably, who who knows, right? <laughs> yeah, we don't know yet. Yeah, and I'm looking through his IMDb here, and he does play animated films. U- usually, uh, some of the characters he play are himself, and other things he play as, well, um, voices. As for me, what I want to see, for me, I think he might go for the comedic kind of acting in this one where he just plays you know a not too serious character he's more on the comedic side so probably he'll be doing something with pinky or probably doing something with rarity because if uh, because of how um, classy rarity is and you get Shatner here playing a very interesting laid back funny character where He's just, you know, joking around and uh, not being serious like his um, other usual acting roles, like his Captain Kirk or whatnot. That would be interesting to see. Well, another thing, too, is that we don't even know what kind of pony he's going to voice. Like, is he going to be a Earth pony, a Pegasus, or a unicorn? Or even if he's going to be a pony. You know what would be cool, right? Yeah, or he could be a non-pony OC. Griffin. Griffin would be cool, a Griffin character. Or, well, okay, maybe, maybe how about this? Um, them playing to their strength, or uh, uh, Hasbro playing to the strength of what William Shatner can do here. Maybe he's going to play a character like, you know, Captain Kirk. Maybe a character of an airship or a blimp. You know, they shown it once before. So, how about this? Uh, we get the captain of the blimp, Captain... I don't know what pony it is. Probably some pony name insert <laughs> here. And he could be a Pegasi. He's the captain of the ship. Ha ha. It writes a story over there. So it's all cool. You should be a writer. <laughs> nah. I know, just spitballing ideas. So who knows? It's a good idea. Yeah. It's a good thought. Yeah, true, true. I mean, that what's the possibility could be. But, you know, I just want him to play a very fun character and I just want him to have fun and I want the fans to enjoy his appearance because whenever a star comes into a show and you know just do something it's either met with positivity or negativity some show do it well some show doesn't and I do hope for ponies here it does well and people really really enjoy him yeah because I know some people that some people like who's a good example I know some some people didn't like uh, one person's appearance, but I forget who. Discord? Weird Al? In a hall? Maybe, unless um, it was, well, what was his name? Uh, Patton Oswalt. I oh, think that yeah, was the Patton one. Oh, yeah, Patton Oswalt is also yeah. in the show too. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's actually funny. Like When I first heard that voice, I'm like, that voice sounds very familiar. And then after a while ago, the Disney movie Ratatouille was on, I'm like, oh, <laughs> that's him! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay, Patton Oswalt is there too. So, to me, Patton Oswalt did a really good job. I I don't know about. Oh him. yeah, he did. Yeah, some some people do like him, some people don't, and well, it depends on the character too. So there's that. So I do hope when uh, Shatner here appears with his character on the show, I do hope that he does it well and the people do like it. So he would come back for more, as I do understand. Patton Oswalt did like his appearance, and he was really thrilled to be on. Well, some people have their likes and some people have their dislikes. It's like, hey, you know, I like this episode and you don't like this episode, for example. True, 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 true. Uh, but that's the, what you call this, news for this week. And a short news week for this week because, well, uh, besides the whole news on the, what you call this, William Shatner, there's nothing much really to add on. I mean, there's a few things that, are in the news, but I don't really want to talk about it because of reasons. Might as well call this the William Shatner episode. <laughs> yeah, it's almost to that point, though. Yeah, it's almost to that point. Other than that, um, well, that's the news. So before I end it, I want to talk about one of the things that I want to do on the show, which is talk about things that have been entertaining us. So... As for me, usually what's entertaining me is the games and the YouTubes. 
And well, last week I talked about one YouTube channel, so why not I promote or pimp out another YouTube channel? So there's this one channel on the YouTube called Unbox Therapy, and from the description you can already tell what kind of channel it is. And it's an unboxing channel where this one guy he sits in front of the camera, talks about the product what's in front of him, and unbox it and looks at it, and have his first impressions of said product. And sometimes it's a hit and miss kind of situation where hmm, this product is something cool or this product is not what I want. But the experience of just looking at stuff when he opens it and tests it out. It's pretty good and makes me feel like, huh, is this worth to getting or not? Should, should I buy it or not? Like, hmm, okay. We, we'll see, we'll see. So, Unbox Therapy is one of those channels that's been keeping me entertained for the week. What about you, Totera? What have been entertaining you? The MBS show. <laughs> really? Oh, yes. Uh, so I wake up in the morning, maybe I put on the MBS show while I'm cooking some breakfast or having a nice cup of coffee, and I listen to it. <laughs> oh, you're not just saying that because you're on the show, are you? Because you can talk about anything no. else. I mean, there, like, my, I did get uh, two of my friends into making their own YouTube channels, and they just post video game on. Well, one posts a video game montage. The other one does, like, a commentary of him while playing the games. Oh, that, that's cool. You want to plug them out or you just want to leave them hanging? <laughs> you you want me to mention both of them? Sure, why not? They're your friends and you did mention them. <laughs> All right. Well, one of them is named Lucarian. I still I, – he told me the reason why he named him, his channel Lucarian. But, yeah, I know he named it because his name's Luca. <laughs> so we had Luke in it. But I don't know what the Carrion part is for. And he told me. I just don't remember it. <laughs> okay. And the other? The other one is a personal friend of mine. We've been best friends since kindergarten. His his YouTube channel is Disaster 0603. Oh no. It's one of those naming yeah. convention. Yeah, we got the good side and we got the bad side. But he's bad in a good way. Not like um it's like Rainbow Dash, you know, she's bad, but not bad as in, you know, she's evil. She's bad as like, oh that's bad. Can't finish it because that's probably a bad way to say it. Uh she's a bad butt, not bad. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. Alright, alright. <laughs> And well, them sound like awesome channels, so yeah, might check them out soon. Well, I'm I'm doing my best to help spread the word since one only has nine subscribers and the other one has four subscribers. Well, they need to get up their game. They need to put in the hashtags and whatnot, you know? <laughs> they need to get their game on. Yeah. So, anywho, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at mbshowgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at the MBS Show. And as for me, I am at Norman Sanzo. And Tara, where can the people find you? They can find me on my YouTube channel, Tortera1324. Or they can hook me up on my Facebook or DeviantArt page. My Patreon, I am not sure if I'm going to keep that up longer. I, I don't have even $1 donation, so I might be shutting that down. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure about it, but I'm thinking about it since I don't have, I still don't have a donation on my Patreon page. Oh, you should keep it up, man. Like, at least just put it there. And... Well, like I said, I'm thinking about it. I'm not 100% sure about it. Oh, all right. Then. And talking about the Patreons, uh, the MBS show has its own Patreon page. You can find it at patreon.com slash the MBS show. Yeah, we, we, we have that there too. And talking about the Patreons, uh, I would like to thank a few people as part of the reward that I have. If you donate a dollar or more, you get a shout out on the show. And to those two people, I would like to thank Twilight Genesis and Lurker Cat. Thank you for, well, supporting the show. You guys are awesome. And you, <laughs> what can I say? You, you guys are just awesome for doing this. And I know it's not a lot, but still, it's at least something. Yay. Thank you very much. So if you want to get your name shouted out here too on a weekly basis, you can well, go to patreon.com slash the MBS show where we do stuff. Um, a shout out is basically a dollar a month because, you know, it helps the, well, it just helps fun things happen. And if you have a topic for us, um, five bucks open slot right now is just for one. You give us a topic to talk about and we'll 
talk about it. Who knows? Um, it might be a silly topic, a serious topic, or whatever it could be. And sometimes uh, there's exclusive content there. Like, it starts as slow as a buck. So if you donate a dollar a month, you can get the content, like deleted shows that were fully edited but not ever published because of reasons. So yeah, you can check it out there. And also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube, and Stitcher Radio. And also, like our Facebook page. Yes, we have the Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyvoLive.com. Also, I'd like to mention something. We've been doing this one new show called the MBS Show Reviews and Discussion Podcast, available on iTunes and Stitcher Radio, where, well, you got me, Sapphire, and also Silver, talking about the MLP comics, shows... Sent by Silver Quill. And also movies. And you know what? <laughs> also some other random things. Like the recent one we did was about movies that we watched for 2016. And there were a lot of movies and we had a lot of fun. One of the other things that we also talk about was video games. We, we do like to play the video games. We're not good at it, but we do like to play them. So that's there too. And also there's one episode that we're, well, we're planning to do, but it's not set in stone yet. And said episode is talking about that one, I won't say great movie, but it's just so stupidly dumb, but yet entertaining. It's called Kong Pao, Enter the Fist. You know, I've never heard of that. Oh, go watch it, my friend. It's awesomely good. But you say it's irritating to watch, though. It's, it's, how to put this? It's bad, but it's good. Like, it's, it's really entertaining. Like, just go watch it. Like, it's really fun. So it's one of those movies where it's stupid, but it's good. Like the, those spoof movies where they make fun of other movies. Kind of, yes. Alright, well maybe I'll give it a look at. But you, you need to have an open mind to it and you need to be in a relaxing mood. Because if you just watched it, just, you know, for an intellectual watch, then yeah, you're on the wrong show. <laughs> Well, I better start. I better watch it now before I start working on Monday, my full time job. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, give it a shot. I think it's available on everywhere because it's a really old show. So yeah, that's one of the things that we're planning to. So who knows? One day probably we'll do it. Or if you give us the five bucks, we'll do it right away. So anywho, I have been Norman Sanzo. And I have been Tortilla1324. And we'll guys catch you next week with another amazing episode of the MBS show. See ya! But you can't catch me! I must run away now! Oh no! Oh, he even has the box! Oh no! <laughs>